All right, what's going on guys? So I've got Will Motivation's Hellcat Challenger here right now. We're gonna wrap the hood in vivid gloss slate gray and we're gonna do it right now. So this hood is a little bit complex as far as hoods go. It's not the easiest. It's got the protrusion here and the swell here in the middle. It's got a little slight swell around here. Plus it has the recessed area here. And, and of course this would be a recessed area since if you bridge it, we would be pushing down. So I'm gonna show you how to go about installing this uh, hood wrap right here. And yes, I've done a bazillion hood wrap videos, but again, a lot of these hoods are a little bit different. So we're not just doing flat hoods, we are doing hoods that are a little bit more complex in nature. So this car is brand new. It's got 900 miles on it or something like that, or 800 miles on it. And it should be pretty much spotless other than there's a couple of really tiny things, little stone chips in here. Nothing that should really truly show through the wrap. So in the end, it should look great. On top of that, it's going to protect the finish for however long he has it on for. Uh, and yes, so let's get to it. So I have the piece already cut, so I'm just gonna bring it over here. And we're gonna begin. So the hood is wider than 60 inches, but it is not longer than 60 inches. Longer meaning front to back. Or front window to the front of the hood. When we remove grills and stuff like that, what we need to do is use a compressor to blow out all the contaminants that are in those recessed areas because it's going to draw particles up. The static will draw particles up from inside those, those vents. So I've removed a total of three and I've gone over it with the compressor already. I'm gonna hit it one more time just to be sure and then we're gonna go at it. So I want to make sure the surface of the film is dust free and then I want to make sure underneath the film is dust free. Perfect. That's about all we need. That's just kind of like to make sure that I didn't pick up anything extra. Oops. Drop. I dropped my mic. So that's to make sure I didn't pick up anything extra while we were waiting in between uh, when I when I wipe the hood down and when uh, we put the film down. So for for this film, it's a little bit tacky. It's going to be, I know it's already going to be a little bit tacky initially. So, but we'll see. And it's also a little bit thicker. It's thicker than Avery, that's for sure. It's a little bit thicker. I think it's about the same thickness as 3M. Maybe a little bit thicker. I don't even actually know what the specs are on it. But uh, it definitely takes a little bit more heat to get it moving. If you find that when you're doing your horizontal panels, your horizontal meaning your hood, your roof, your trunk, if you find that the film is very sticky and just grabbing on a little bit too hard, then what you can do is you can apply some tack reducer beforehand. I didn't apply any tack reducer on this. I don't need it. I don't believe I need it. I'm gonna slap one magnet down over here. And then what I want to do is we're gonna flip the film like a bed sheet, okay? So I'm gonna put a little more emphasis across that middle there. looks good I'm okay with that side so I'm gonna stick a magnet down over here just for safe measure and do the exact same thing over here it's a little cooler in here today so makes it a little bit more um, rigid so what I want to do is make sure that I've got a good line running in this area here. In order to help my installation, what I can do is apply some shield guard. I'm gonna put a magnet down on the top corner because I don't want it to move. Okay, so what I can do is apply shield guard to the surface. I'm not going to do that just yet. 
or to my, my squeegee's buffer. That's generally how we want it to look. Make one line down the middle, let's lock it in. Grab a little shield guard, it's just gonna help with this, the buffer gliding. Your, your buffer will tend to stick a little bit more to glossy finishes as opposed to like matte or satin. So having a little bit of solution, it could be soapy water or whatever, I like to use the shield guard because not only is it, uh, not only is it helping the, the uh, squeegee glide, but it's also adding a little bit of protection on top of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lift it up here and get some of that squeegeeing done. Perfect. Same deal over here. You can kind of see what I did there. I can, I'm just gonna go like this and kind of get it to the edge of the hard body line right here, okay? That's the hard body line. Little left hand action. So having a little bit of solution on the buffer will allow you to squeegee a lot easier actually because we're not gonna get, we don't get bunched up anymore. So we're gonna work out this area because this area is the easiest. Okay. I'm gonna tack it down there with a magnet just to hold it. So what, thank you. you. Guys got me lunch. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start trying to lay into the recess here the best I can. I'm gonna to need to add heat because of the complex nature of the hood in order to give the film a bit of workability and pliability. What I wanna do is, thank you, I'll, when I'm done, thank you. These guys want me to eat with them right now in the middle of doing a video. It's all good. It's nice of them to bring me lunch. So what we want to do is kind of draw this outward, all right? And since I have the film already up right now, I'm gonna start heating it and getting it into a nice glass state. Let's get those hard, really, those hard wrinkles out there. Getting it into a nice glass state, something that I can work with a little bit easier. So I'm just keeping a bit of tension on it. And again, I'm working the film to the exterior, to the front corners. You can see how that works. So I'm gonna draw it down right about there, okay? I wanna lock it in, I just wanna leave it. I don't wanna like lock it, lock it in. I just wanna leave it right now. What I need to do is add a bit of heat over here. Let's get some of that air out. Remove that magnet. So this shouldn't be a very heavy recess, but because of the complex nature of this of this hood, we do have to stretch it in slightly. I don't want to stretch it in too much, so I heated it so I can kind of like hold it with one hand and then let the vinyl kind of feed itself in there, all right? There we go. So from here, I'm gonna work the film out.
It's gonna be a nice color. I'm actually really excited to see it in it. I love I love black, but I think this is gonna look really nice. So we're going for the recessed area first. All right, super important to tackle that area right off the bat. Let's fix up this section over here. Little wrinkle there, I see it, I don't like it. So I'm gonna pull the film back a bit. And then just kind of pop it up slightly right there. Get my heat gun and hit it with a bit more heat. three little lines there, I don't like them. They're kind of hard to get at because they're, they're just on the top side here. There we go. Should be better now. There. back a little bit more, kind of reset all this. So it's difficult to do because we kind of got to, we got to position our hands a little bit closer. So in this situation, we do have to put our hands underneath the film for this. getting contaminants under the film is totally fine. You want to make sure your hands are clean and that you didn't just have some greasy chicken dinner and not wash them. So, but the natural oil from your hands will not be that detrimental to the wrap itself. As long as they're not super greasy or super sweaty. So you can see that I'm letting the vinyl feed itself in as I target that area. Perfect. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the rest of this out Again, we don't want to overstretch the film. We just want to draw some of this extra film, extra material outward. Okay. If we don't draw the extra film outward, we're going to run into an issue. So now, as far as down here goes, I can pretty much finish it off. shield guards, splash it onto the squeegee. It's getting a little dry. There we go. 
I'm not stretching it a lot. I'm just letting the heat do a bit of work just to give myself some pliability with the film. I didn't leave myself a lot of extra film on the end here. Probably have too much on that side. It's fine. It's just a little bit more difficult to work with. Because mainly what you don't want to do is start putting your hands underneath at the very ends of the film. You want to keep your, your natural oils away from where the film truly needs to stick, which is on the edges. there. So right there what I'm trying to do is get my corner stretch, pre-stretch all at once. This way, I can just get it all done right now and get that wrapped around the corner. It's top, it's looking, looking good. Perfect. Let's, before I let this sit here too long, let's take care of this little scoop and let's get you in a little bit closer for it maybe. So, glove, step one. What we need to do is we need to find, I need to see exactly how deep this is and I need to know where to do a relief cut. So let me just check this one out right here. Okay, so I just check the other side quickly just to remind myself. So really right here, I don't have to come down all that far. The edge is, the edge is right there. So I'm gonna lay it in this a little bit and then I'll be able to stretch the rest in with very little stretch because I'll have a relief cut from cutting a hole here. So right about there. So already the tension has decreased. I need to make sure I'm seeing that edge. There it is. We look underneath a little bit. If you mess it up, you mess it up, you start over again. So, so by cutting a hole there, it helps a little bit. What I wanna do is heat a more around the center of this, and then we're gonna hit the low point almost right away. All in one shot, okay? Same deal here, heat it more in the center, and then we're gonna hit the low point right away, okay? Done. This puts as little stretch as possible in the recess. One bubble. There we go. Shoot the screw 
squeegee, it's a little bit easier. All right, so again, starting, we start, we hit, we target the low point right away. The low point is this deep, this deepest part of the recess. The high point is here and here. Okay, so you want to, you want to hit that almost right away. So now that I'm getting a little bit lower here, I'm gonna put more relief cut so I don't have to keep adding tension here because I know that the edge comes right there so we can get closer. And that helps a lot. I'm just trying to find that line right there. Perfect. I'll go in there and clean up the cut in a second as soon as I get it down the rest of the way. So very, very little tension. The film isn't even moving with any heat, so it's great. It's exactly what you want. And then once I get it around slightly, oh, got a little air there, let's get that out. There we go. Once I get it around slightly, I'm gonna cut on the bottom side of this piece. Let's get the little wrinkle out there. There we go. And then I'm gonna trim it out, okay? Perfect. The reason why I didn't want it to sit there for too long in that position without get, without taking care of business first was because it'll start to it'll begin to leave a glue line. Now each film will leave a glue line. Avery, Hexus, 3M, Vivid, doesn't matter. If you leave the film in a position for too long and there's too much heat or whatever, where it's kind of like partly squeegeed and there starts to add tension, it will leave a glue line. Now this is definitely more prominent on certain films like 3M, where glue lines are nearly unavoidable. And I can show you later how like when I squeegee with 3M, every, even if I glass out the whole hood, every pass with the squeegee leaves a glue line. Every single pass. So this one doesn't. So even Avery's will, it's just Avery's are very, uh, very thin and very minor. You can barely see them. So let's get over here now. And then we'll get onto the hood scoop, all right? How many minutes are we at? 23. It's taking me a little bit longer just because I'm just doing instructional here. So what I'm going to do is again pass a little bit of heat over here. Get it kind of blast out. I just want to get it below, really kind of below that edge. Once I do, we're sitting good. Again, let's take care of this section over here. just to kind of get it going. He comes hanging off me. All right, and then once I get it going, we alleviate the tension by lifting it up and we lay it in. So much nicer, right? So again, I'll alleviate the tension here for that area right over here. There we go. I just 
had to heat it to glass it out a bit. Now we're good. So now we're in fully into the recess, no issues. Now we can stretch out. tension. So I like to start it a little bit first because it keeps the wrinkles away in the very beginning. So by adding a little bit of tension to it when you're squeegeeing it is fine. We're just doing most of it while still laying in. Okay, add, let's fix that up over there. Let's add a bit of heat. There we go. Smooth it out. Perfect. Good. I'm okay with this. Again, for me, it's a little bit easier on this side because I'm right-handed and it just, just works a little bit better for me over here. on this particular car, the Hellcat, is a little bit challenging. So what can I do with all these? I can pull them down, right? Should be able to. Nope, messed it all up. That's fine. So now that I have it up, what I'm going to do is just heat it and glass it all at once. shield guard on the squeegee. Lost you there for a second. You just finished squeegeeing in the corner here. Let's get on, let's do this piece right here first, like I did before, and then let's get on to the actual center scoop. And then after that, it's just trimming and cutting and we're done. So we're at about 30 minutes right now. It's not too bad. Just looking for that top line.
I'm not going to do a video on the fender and the doors and all that boring stuff. But when it comes to a hood like this, it's just a little bit more difficult to do. So I want to show you guys. Perfect. So I find I can see my edge. Have a peek. How far down can we go? Pretty far. So, what I'm going to do is get the wrap glove again, and we're going to do exactly what we did on the other side to this side. So, I'll zoom in even for you to see. Okay. So we heat the large area, get it nice and pliable, and then we target the low area right off the bat. Okay. Using your palm really helps distribute the tension when it comes to an area like this. We don't want to heat it so much that your hand's getting stuck to the film either, because that'll happen if you're not careful. Your hand will get stuck, and then you'll get a, and then you'll get a wrinkle. So don't heat the film up too too hot. We're, we're still trying to maintain some integrity of the film. That's that's the whole idea behind it. We don't want to stretch it too much. So I can find the edge again. Let's finish it off. Should I post heat it afterwards is what you're asking? Maybe. I'll throw a little bit of heat at it. But I'm pretty confident in the film sticking, so. Get it around the edge slightly. Put a little air bubble there. Just get rid of that. Perfect. Finish this bit off. Perfect. Let's do the front section, guys. So let's check this out. So obviously I have a bit of air there still, it's fine. Don't worry about it. What I wanna do is push in slightly, all right? And then what I'm going to do is once I find the top edge, I'm going to do a relief cut and then have it drop in a little bit better. Fix all that up first. Let's just fix that up right there also. There we go. Okay. So when it comes to this part right here, I'm gonna lift it and then push in the middle slightly, all right? So I've taken a bit of stretch from the front area here, which is fine. In my opinion, that's how we have to do it. So let's find our line here. So I've already done one challenger a couple, uh, like a month ago or whatever, a few months ago, I guess around January. So what I want 
to do is just find that top line right here where that grill goes back in there. I'm not excessively stretching the film. What I want to do is cut slightly lower than it just to make sure I have full coverage. Super careful with your cut, take your time. It's not a race. For some of you it might be a race, but it's really not a race. It should never be a race. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this section first and then come back out and finish off the rest. So what did I say? We go for the low point, right? I'm gonna go for the low point right off the bat. Again, over here. Let's go for the low point. Let's get the air out of there. Let's go for the low point here. Perfect. I'm gonna draw this off right about here. So I'm gonna take that wrinkle and bring it forward and the rest I'm gonna bring it back. Let's get the glove off, I don't need it anymore. And just make sure we got all the air outs, okay? So for here, what I'm gonna do, so I, pop, I pulled the film out accidentally, it's fine. Easily, easily draw the film down because our wrinkles ran across. When our wrinkles run across, it makes it a lot easier to get the wrinkles out. Perpendicular or whatever you want to call it. Because people are like, oh, I don't understand across, perpendicular. So opposite direction. The wrinkles run across this way, we pulled this way. That got all that out really easily. Let's get rid of this. Got a little tension in here and we're going to go over it with some heat and finish it all up and make it nice. I'm just going to cut in the recessed area. Done there, guys. So, probably another five, ten minutes. Let's go over all of this with some heat. We'll even wrap it inside. It'll just make it, we'll give it a little bit more uh, security. Excellent. And this one I didn't finish cutting yet, right here. So let's finish cutting this little bit out. And then we're going to do the exterior part of the hood, the, the outer line. Super nice color, it's gonna look great. Once I get it all cleaned up. Cool, let's do the back part of the window and then do the corners and then go over everything with heat and we're done.
When I cut like that, I put my blade out like a half a click. Because I don't want to cut into the wiper blades, right? We got to be careful of that. that. That will happen to you. going to do is see if lifting the hood is an option to get access to the underside a little bit better. I'm going to alleviate the tension and it might give me better access to the corners. Access to the corners, it's good. So the hood isn't fully up, and you can see how much I'm actually pushing on it when I do the corners, right? Not very, not very hard. I'm not pulling down on these very hard because the hood isn't moving. What I need to do is bring it back slightly more, bring it out, let it come around, and then hit it with that heat. Do this corner here. Let's get you over on this side so you can see these last two corners here a little bit better. So again, what I'm doing, let's put that there. I'm gonna pull the vinyl back slightly, heat it, bring it out and around, okay? Just like that. Make sure everything's tight and then heat it, okay? And we can cook it a little bit, which will have a post heating property. A little bubble on top. Perfect. Oh, see how I just kind of have the hood sitting exactly where I need it to be. That's how I haven't been pulling on the on the edge is very hard at all, so I want to kind of show you that, that it's just being gentle. I'll get you down here on the camera. Give me one second. So you can see this last corner on the top here. So let's get this one here. So again, heat it, pull it out and around, get it around, shrink it, done. to cook them up a little bit. So I'll cook, up, cook the corners up, heat them up really good. That way 
I know for sure they're not going anywhere. So we're going to do some trimming. I'm going to start. on the edge there there we go let me fix the camera for you and let's zoom out and let's put it back in the middle so again I don't want to move that too much just yet not ready as soon as I get these back corners cut then I can lift the hood up all the way When I'm cutting these back corners here, I'm just cutting on the bottom side, all right? straight cut all the way across keeping tension on the film will give you a nice straight cut all the way across You guys didn't see that there. I'm gonna go over all this with heat and we'll show it to you in about 30 seconds. itself is actually a little bit wonky on the edge but either way the cut is still very very straight let me show you guys So I'm going to show you guys right now. We have a nice straight line all the way down. Can't even really see it, can you? All right, as always, this is how you should be doing it. This is the part of the hood that got, like the metal is actually thicker. It's weird on the edge. Right? I'm gonna show in the back. 
a little difficult to see. Right? So I'll get it cleaned up, get the vents back in, and then it's completely done. Okay, so let me know what you think about that color. I think it's gonna look nice on it. All right, so. Let me know what you think about the video. If you guys like what I explained here today, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down, doesn't matter. But uh, I hopefully I did my best to help you out. And uh, yeah, so something a little bit different tackling these vents, uh, especially with the scoop in the middle and then these two guys over here, which are like kind of the opposite of that. They're recessed, that protrudes. Two different things going on in the hood at the same time. And so guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see more of what this Hellcat looks like in the end, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Take care.